Good evening. Hello. So, what are you having? Oh, uh, yes, of course. Uh, what would you take? I'd take a Guinness myself, but not everyone would. Guinness is good. Coming right up. Oh, uh, you can keep the change. Really? Consider that your tip. Hey, uh, <clears throat> why don't you join me for one? Shouldn't be drinking on the job. Oh, come on. You want to? It's Friday. You're too young not to be drinking on Friday. <sighs> too true. Maybe just one. I don't think I've seen you in here before. Yes, well, uh, no, no, I, I'm just visiting an old friend. Irregular? You could say that, yes. You got a name? Nothing important. Oh, well, just making conversation, you know? Yeah, <laughs> I know. So, what's your name? Uh, Ollie. Ollie, yes, that's right. And you are? Oh, I'm... Call me Oliver. I'm sorry, I know this is gonna sound weird, but... Do I know you from somewhere? I don't believe you do. Right, right, it's just... You know. Yeah. I know the feeling. So, tell me about you, Ollie. Uh, I'm a student here at... Uh... Why here? Well, it's a good uni. I mean, at least the best one that would take me. And it's far away from the parents, so there's that. Oh, you never miss them? Nah, not that much. They're always trying to, uh, sort of trying to dictate my life, and I'm sort of... Enjoying my independence mm. right now. But you do visit them? As little as possible, to be honest. I only go because my little sister's there. She's awesome, but uh, she's leaving soon, so that'll be it, I think. You don't think you'll visit them again? Maybe at Christmas or something, but yeah, that's probably it. You're not. Afraid of missing something. Like what? You know how they say that children are the best thing in a parent's life? Yeah. Well, can you imagine what the two of you leaving would do to them? I know a marriage that fell apart because the children refused to talk to them. And they started blaming each other. Not a pretty sight. Eventually the children got drawn back in and had to take sides. It was a mess. The sun still bears the scars of it for life. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is... Yeah. Yeah, I got it. <sighs> Good. Anyway, how are you holding up? Sorry? Wait, what day is this? Friday? Yeah, no, no, I mean the date. Uh, 2nd of November. 2nd? Not the 22nd. Oh, that, that's brilliant. 
What is? So do you um, have a special someone, Marlene? You mean like a girlfriend? I do, yeah. <laughs> ah, that her? Yeah, Sarah. That's her. She's gorgeous. She's more than that. She's uh, something else entirely. How long have you been going out? Um, since the 20th of June, I think. That's almost... Uh, Six months. you quick. <laughs> You'll get good at it eventually. The beer ups my reflexes. Yeah, I used to do uh, university level maths exams just <laughs> when I was drunk. Fun times. <laughs> Fun times indeed. <laughs> You're a smart one then. Only when I'm drunk, I think. So, why literature? Well, I always love writing. I mean, there's a few short stories here and there that I've finished, and I like to think they're really innovative, but... I don't know. I kind of want to find somebody to help me with all of that, you know? It's so hard to get yourself out of that, you know, like a, an outside perspective. You know? There's also this social commentary type piece that... I mean, I've got it all mapped out and structured in my head, but I just don't feel ready to start it. You know? I know what you mean. I tell you what, I know someone, a librarian. He likes helping students out on this kind of thing. Also, he knows people for when you're ready to publish. And he lives around here? Yeah, a short bus ride away from the campus, I think. You still read a lot of Terry Pratchett? Yeah, of course. Then the two of you will hit it off just fine. How do you know I read Pratchett? Just seemed like the type. With all due respect, sir, I didn't think that you'd be reading Terry Pratchett. Well, I used to. A lot. And why'd you stop? I, I used to... I used to read and quote it to... Someone that mattered a lot to me. When she left, I just found it too hard to read again. The two were too close in my mind. I'm sure you know what I mean. Yeah, I, uh... Sarah, she... You... Yeah? Never mind. So, uh... How are things with Sarah? Really, is it serious? I don't know. I didn't think it was, but now I kind of want it to be. You know, we have the uh, same friends, same interests, same sense of humour. She's full of surprises. Sometimes we can just sit in silence for hours and I don't feel the need to do anything. She's as soft as a feather in the streets. <laughs> Better freak in the sheets. Exactly. <laughs> Sounds like a perfect match. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, maybe. But... What? Something bothering you. Well... I don't know. She's been a bit distant lately. She's been on, been on this... She's been on this trip with her course. And I'll see her when she comes back, but I don't know, it's tough. When does she get back? Uh, Tuesday. So that's the 5th. 5th November. Are you alright, sir? Hmm? I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine. I can call you a cab if you like. No, 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 don't, don't worry about me. Go see him as soon as you can. He'll be a great help to you. And I hope everything works out with Sarah. Have a good night. Sir. Thank you for all the advice and all. You know, she just wants you to say that you love her. Stop me if you know this one. A man walks into a bar. 
and finds himself face to face with his younger self. Do you know what he told him? 